So today, you're going to be reacting to your entire lifetime. What? <laughs> Uh, okay. I mean, how much time do we have? Y'all in cahoots with my mom or something? What the hell is this? We found a site called The Atlantic that you put in your birthday, and then it shows you highlights of some of the ten pole things that took place in the world since you were born. And we took a look and picked out some highlights to show you, and then after, we'll have you look around the site yourself. Oh my god, I hope I remember them. I hope I didn't kill the brain cells that housed them. You gonna make me feel old as shit, dog. Let's do it. <gasps> oh, Harry Potter! Oh my god, yeah, I've already gone back to like a specific a memory. Every kid during this time had a Harry Potter robe, or just some sort of magical Harry Potter like memorabilia. Take your right hand over the broom and say up. Up! <laughs> no magics to be used. They're so young and they're so old now. Out of bounds. This movie was like no other I had seen when I was younger. Oh, oh the Philosopher's Stone, this is the British version. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't, see that's why, I'm like, I already feel like I forget some of the things that have happened throughout my lifetime. Just because I feel like I always just live so much in the present, I never take the time to look back on everything. Although the movie came out in 2001, the very first Harry Potter book was published in 1997. So, as someone who was born in 1998, you have never lived in a world without Harry Potter. That's, oh my god. God. When the movie first came out, my cousins and I, like, we all had our Harry Potter robes, went to the movie in our Harry Potter glasses. It was such a huge phenomenon, and it was one of the ways that my cousins and I just bonded. What you got? I like very much being able to find a book for certain and to order it Whoa. without standing in a line. It's the first website that I've ever seen. Amazon started. Did Amazon start? The more books you order from Amazon.com, the more they get to know. And it started as like an online bookstore. Did you look at that old logo? The O was the big thing, and now it's the A to Z that's the big part. Since you were born in 1995, you're one of the first people who's never lived in a world without Amazon. <laughs> wow. I've lived in a world where Amazon always existed. That's funky. I don't like to get existential but I do it all the time. And that's really weird. Oh my gosh, the, the, the disc man. I forgot like CDs came to be uh, in my lifetime because I, when I was growing up it was cassette tapes. And then they had the disc man, which was like our, ver like our version of the iPod, this giant thing that you would like put on your hip. Now it's like, you don't even need anything. It's just music is out there. It's just all around you, floating around everywhere. So you were born in 1983, meaning you're one of the first people who's never lived in a world without any CD player. That's so crazy. I feel like, you know, 10 years from now, there's going to be like this, this, this new hip CD player that's like a retro, you know, version that's going to just become the biggest thing. Up next, we have a clip of what Hollywood thought teens looked like the year you became one. Great. Oh, come on. Rose, you guys. That's exactly what we look like. This is such a great film. They tried to stop them. This is exactly what high school was like. And rock the school. The kids were wrecking and rocking the school. Come on, look at that. Velvet Underground. Like, these are some of my favorite, favorite bands. Alice Cooper. Whenever you're a teenager, you're always going to be rock and roll. Rock and rolling. School, you know? The students rule. Hilarious. That was like a total iconic film. It wasn't quite that crazy yet, but um, that was definitely something to aspire to. When I was in high school, there was a smoking court. Like the kids, there were the smokers. We could smoke in high school. They were the girls who did Oh my gosh. Whatever you do, stay away from them. Four girls are about to discover the dark side. Have you ever heard of invoking the spirit? She always creeped me out. Like throughout the whole movie. We oh my gosh. She's got her overalls on. That's so great. <laughs> Craft. Oh my gosh. It's funny seeing like all the stuff that they were wearing. And now check this out. Yeah. Oh god, okay. Since you were 20 years old, your life can be divided into two halves. Before and after iPhones. I remember having a phone other than an iPhone. It wasn't until maybe high school that I had an iPhone. Which is why it's weird, because now that's all I use, and I couldn't imagine using any other phone. Apple has me whipped and I don't like that. Since you are 23, I will be 23. Your life can be divided into two halves, before and after YouTube. I remember being in like the sixth grade and someone saying YouTube. And I was like, what the hell is YouTube? YouTube hasn't been a big part of my life until more recently. It wasn't until like I started making YouTube videos and I was on React that YouTube made a big impact. Right now your life can be divided into two halves, before and after websites. Before 91 and after 91, it's true. 
The World Wide Web did not exist when in my youth. I had a job in the mid 90s where it was my job to build a website and I was like, what's a website? So as we said, we picked things from your timeline that we already showed you. So take a look now at other things from your life's timeline. Ah, sweet. Plus your birthday, don't see how the world has changed during your lifetime. All right, April 24th. 1998. Open traffic in, oh, a bridge in Japan, that's cool. This is what Hollywood thought teenagers look like the year you became one. I think I look like that when I was around 14. Around the time you were born, Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated at a peace rally. Holy shit, dude. 9-11, at five years old, you were part of the generation most shaped by 9-11. Uh, to be honest, I was too young. I never saw the 9-11 attacks. I didn't realize it was a thing until much later. Around the time we were born, the Soviet Union launched Luna 10, the first Luna orbiter. Interesting. I did see the fall of the Berlin Wall. That was actually so crazy. It was a thing that people talked were talking about because it was so significant. You know, the Berlin was divided after the war, so taking that down was like a whole new era. There are other huge things that have happened in my lifetime that you're like, I'll, I'll never forget that up to and including the Night Trump one. <laughs> I'll never forget that either. I used to watch the, watch the Jetsons as a kid. Everything was like so space age. I was just looking at an article about like automatic cooktops and I'm just like touch screening and it's like my, I can like control everything from my phone. It's like, are you kidding me? Jane Jetson, I'm one step away from her right now. 1983. You know what didn't exist back then? This right here. Mila Kunis, who was born the same year as you began starring in the sitcom. In 98, wow, my life can be divided into two halves, before and after the International Space Station. <laughs> Moments in history, I think, you know, I remember when I was a kid, the uh, the Gulf War, you know, and, and that was really scary to me when I was growing up because it was like, there was always, always these things on the TV about if anybody decided to launch missiles against the US. They had these things on television, you know, and as a kid, you're like, what? One day, hopefully, we can get to a point where we're not shooting each other or trying to blow each other up because we have differences of opinion. Uh, we should be able to just talk and work through things. Hey, what's up guys? Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Now, what other things would you like to see the reactors try next time we do a Reactception episode just like this one? You gotta let us know in the comments. Bye guys.